for some confusion over the driving history of the man behind the wheel of the duck boat that was involved in a deadly crash in Boston. WBZ found a long list of violations in his history, but the duck boat company says it didn't match up with their records on him. Now we know why. Kate Merrill is working this story from the scene of that fatal accident. Kate? Paula, we know the company asked for his driving record and not his history, and there is a difference. This record shows the company did, in fact, ask for his driving record every single year he was employed, but there is a difference. As the duck boats continue to roll through the streets of Boston, company officials admit they have not been getting the complete information about their own drivers. Allison Wormuth was killed by a duck boat over the weekend near the common. She was on a scooter and was hit. And while we still do not know who is at fault, WBZ learned Monday the duck boat driver, Victor Tavares, has a lengthy driving record, 10 speeding tickets and other violations. The Boston Duck Boat Company had said his record was clean. Now that confusion has been cleared up. Boston Duck Boats saying Tuesday, the company learned today there is a significant difference between a driver's record, which is what the Registry of Motor Vehicles supplies to all Hackney companies, and which reveals a motorist driving record for the previous 10 years, and a motorist driving history, which provides a comprehensive record going back to when the license was issued. Turns out the company was asking for the wrong records and not getting the whole picture. I'm always a bit wary of them. I mean, they do seem a bit unwieldy for, for city streets. The fatal crash opening a new debate on the safety of the ducks, <laughs> which have become a part of the city, including some of our biggest moments. I love them. I think that they're a big part of the city and they're a big part of the culture. For now, they remain on the streets, the investigation ongoing. And the company changing the way it does business. As of now, they are working with the RMV and state officials to make sure they get a complete history of their driver. They do add that this particular driver, ha driver had an exemplary record all six years that he worked with the company. He is now under suspension, but that is protocol. And it's very important to point out we do not know if he was actually at fault in this crash at this point. Live in Boston, Kate Merrill, WBC News.